I'm, I'm staying in a very nice hotel. I actually spent four days in my hotel room because I kind of got in, closed the door, and there's this sign saying, do not disturb, when <laughs> can't get out. <laughs> I opened the wardrobe, there's like a pillow and a blanket. That's the worst night's sleep I've ever had, I tell you. <laughs> but, uh... No, it's good to be here. I actually, uh, I received the fax today my, in my hotel. They kind of knocked on the door and went, there's a fax for you, Mr. Evans. I said, he, he, I said what did it say? He went, ah! <laughs> I understood it, which was weird. I called the shopping channel. They said, how can I help you? I said, no, I'm just looking, thanks. <laughs> but uh, I'm very nervous. It's strange when you get nervous. Your whole body kind of tenses up, but your bowels relax. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> It's really bad. I don't know, I bought some relaxation tapes, you know, Sound of the Ocean Waves. I played it, but there's nothing on it. So I took it back to the store and the clerk said, well, the tide's out, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, I don't know, I slept really well last night. I slept like a baby. I actually uh, pissed the bed four times and woke up crying about five. <laughs> I should keep fit. I tried to keep fit. I used to run four miles a day. I did this for two weeks. I got so far away from my now, so I thought, what's the point? <laughs> it took me ages to find a woman. I mean, what do you say? What do you do when you see a girl? You get these guys called Craig, and they go, hey, my name's Craig, how you doing? And women go, oh, and they're gone. For me, right about here, my brain seizes up, you know? I see a girl, and I think, okay, my name's Lee. Uh, do you want a drink? Would you like a dance? That's it, yeah. Uh, would you like a drink? You know, it's not good. I flew in yesterday and it was, uh, it was like a nightmare because they're really worried about security at airports and stuff, you know? And I flew in from England and somebody said to me, if you're gonna get on a long haul flight, what you should do is take some sleeping pills, you can have a sleep on the plane, when you get off the other side, you'll be all refreshed. So I went, great idea. So I was at the airport, they caught my flight, I took about, what, 18? <laughs> I ran to the gate, when I got to the gate, they went, sorry, cancelled. I went, you're joking. <laughs> But, but they said, stay alert, because one will be along any minute. I went, okay. <laughs> and I got on the plane. I could not believe my luck. It was fantastic. I got an exit seat. And with an exit seat, the leg room you get is like amazing. You can't look at the, look at the, look at the leg room I got here. I'm looking back at the people resting coach, you know, and I'm going, look at that. Until the stewardess takes you for the survival routine, she goes, if there is a fire or we go down, the exits are here, here, and here. And they point at you, me. What have I got to do with anything? No, because now you have a certain responsibility if you're by an exit seat, because you've got to know how that door opens. Because if anything happens, they're all going to come running at you. All the lights lead to B15, that's my seat. I only wanted a bit of leg room. I didn't I was going to be part of the team. And they always say the same thing. You know, follow these lights on the floor. Yeah, 300 people in a blind panic looking for lights. Yeah, <laughs> out the way! <laughs> there was definitely one here earlier. <laughs> no, and on takeoff, the stewardess sits the other way facing you. Why is that? Safer. Then I want to sit that way. <laughs> and you know what? It doesn't matter, because she's going to get a face full of me anyway if we hit anything. Coming straight at her, oh yeah. <laughs> and you know the two main concerns on a plane now? Number one, terrorism. The other one is deep vein thrombosis. It's true. You know, and, it's, and they give you this form. You have to read it, and it has to take you through these survival instructions, like the, the kind of, you have to keep your body moving, you know, through, within the confines of the plane. And it takes you through. It says, number one, the face. You have to keep your face moving to keep the blood flowing throughout your body. And then it works your way down to your little body like this. So, and your legs and your arms. So, and they encourage you to walk around the plane. So you go around the plane doing this. <laughs> Don't worry, everybody. No need to worry, I'm just doing my deep game from Bursus exercises. And the toilet on a plane, wow, that's got some suck, hasn't it? <laughs> Jeez, it's a button about that big, you press it, so... <laughs> Kidneys have gone.